Hello viewers, welcome all to our class today again. Your teacher is Roger Michira, who will be taking you through CRE and the topic of discussion is Holy Spirit. Now, in our previous class, we did look at the concept of the Holy Spirit, then we said who is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can be defined as, right, a Holy Trinity. So it is three persons in one. Then we also looked at the role of the Holy Spirit. For example, the Holy Spirit is an helper, comforter, right? Gives us courage, good. It reveals the world of the sinful people. Very good. Now, in the topic of the Holy Spirit, today we'll get to look at Peter's message on the day of Pentecost, right? We'll get to look at what is the day of the Pentecost, right? And during this day of Pentecost, what was Peter's message, right? On the day of Pentecost, welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are, we, we, we are able to define the, the term Pentecost and also we are able to narrate Peter's message on the day of Pentecost, right? Now, those are two things we'll be able to learn by the end of the topic, uh, the lesson rather. So define the term Pentecost and also we get to narrate Peter's message on the day of Pentecost. Now, what's the day of the Pentecost, right? Now, the day of Pentecost is one of the Jewish festivals, right? Is one of the Jew uh, Jewish festivals. Remember, we had a number of Jewish uh, festivals, right? For example, we had the Passover, right? We had the, pa the, the Feast of Tabernacles, right? And now we have the, uh, the, 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 the Pentecost. Now, this was among the Jewish, uh, Jewish festivals, now, it is also referred to as the feast, the, the festival of weeks, right? The festival of weeks. Now, the Pentecost day was celebrated 50 days after the Passover. So, immediately after the, the Passover, they will count for uh, 50 days, then they were, to they, they were to celebrate the Pentecost. It was a compulsory for all Jews. On this day, Jewish, uh, the, the, the Jewish the Jews brought uh, offering the first fruits of harvest to the temple of Jerusalem. Now, we have briefly looked at the day of the Pentecost and we have said this was among the Jewish, uh, Jewish uh, festivals. And uh, among other festivals, we had the, 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 the tabernacle, right? The feast of the tabernacle, the Passover feast. And we have said that the, 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 the Pentecost was celebrated 50 days after the Passover and it was uh, compulsory for all Jews. Now, can you get to look at the actual day of Pentecost? Now, remember, when Jesus was ascending to heaven, he told his disciples that a simple in Jerusalem, right, I'm going to send you an helper. Now, on the day of Pentecost, the disciples were gathered in Jerusalem, awaiting the promise of the Holy Spirit. Look at that, right? Those are the disciples. They were assembled in Jerusalem. They were waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit as it was promised by Jesus. And remember, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit was prophesied by Prophet uh, Joel. Now, look at that. Those are the disciples. And most definitely, the one standing is Peter. Remember, Peter was courageous, right? He was bold. We get to look at how, 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 how was Peter courageous? How bold was he? Now, now that they were assembled in Jerusalem, awaiting the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, now the Holy Spirit came down in a strong wind and tongues of fire as it was promised. Look at that. A strong wind. They are shielding, right? Look at that. Look at how they are falling. Good. That's a strong wind. So the Holy Spirit came down in terms of a strong wind and also tongues of fire. Now the Holy Spirit rested on the heads of each disciple. And we have said that it came down in tongues of fire. Now look at that. It rested on the head of each disciple. Look at that. Look at each and every disciple. The Holy Spirit has rested on top of each and every disciple. Now, the disciples received the gift of the Holy Spirit. They spoke in new tongues. And some of, uh, some of the observers on Lucas, right, mistaken the disciples as they were, they, they had taken, they were drunk in wine, 
right? Remember, these are some people that they had not even um, heard of. They, are, they, they had never seen uh, that before. They were speaking in tongues. The language that was not, not understood, understood by the onlookers. Now, the onlookers, the observers, mistaken the disciples of being drunk. But you know what Peter did? Peter stood up and he had, he, Peter stood up and he had to explain what was happening and defended the disciples. No, 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 they are not drunk, right? It is just that they have been filled by the Holy Spirit, right? This was a promise given by Jesus. It was prophesied in the book of Joel. Good? Now, Peter then invited the listeners to repent so that they could be forgiven and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, this day, those who accepted, right, to receive repentance, right, they were, they, 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 they were, they were baptized, Right? And we get to know that over 3,000 people were baptized. Now, that is briefly the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We have looked at how it came down in tongues of fire, right? Rested on the, on the heads of disciples. They started talk, talking in tongues, right? The Holy Spirit rested, rested on each disciple. But again, Peter was bold enough to defend the disciples. Uh, disciples. That is why I told you. Peter was one among one of the courageous disciples of, God, of Jesus we had. Very bold, very courageous. He had leadership qualities, right? That is why Jesus told him, Peter, lead this group. Now, we have briefly looked at the, the, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now, class, for our assignment, can we get to state the leadership qualities that Christians derive from Peter during the Pentecost? What are some of the leadership qualities that Christians can derive from, uh, from uh, Peter during the Pentecost? And as always, can you get to refer to uh, KLB, the third ed edition, Secondary Christian Religious Education, Students Book Free. And as always, this is a Lim TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Get in touch with us via contact address on your screen. And as always, this is your CRD teacher, Roger Michira.